Williston and the surrounding communities are used to blizzards, but what they weren't prepared for was the long-term power outage this one left behind. One of the main concerns was generators. Obviously, we don't have generators because we need such big generators and the 15 pump stations, there's just no way to have that kind of generators around. The National Weather Service generator died and they needed the weather system up and operational to land and operate at the airport. We should have a backup generator for fuel. City radio frequencies went down because the generator and the water tower didn't work. City and county leaders also realized there wasn't anywhere warm for people to go. If this would were to happen in the winter, it would have been a huge crisis. We're going to need to, in these next few months, come up with where we would shelter these people and get that word out. Officials also say they weren't as prepared for this storm as they wanted to be because predicting the weather is an inexact science. I went to bed Friday night fairly late understanding that the forecast was one to one and a half inches of snow and some high winds moving through th that night. I uh, got up the next morning was just absolutely amazed at what had happened. I think Politically, the biggest thing is we need to make an issue of the National Weather Service and that forecast. The last major hurdle for the area was communication. The emergency services manager is looking into organizing a central communication network where people and agencies can find accurate information during a storm. For NBC North Dakota News, I'm Jennifer Joes.